Hey guys, this is a quick tutorial. This is a, announcing a new feature of Tagger. Uh, Tagger is the module that I use to make prefabs work when I'm using Monk's Active Tiles because Tagger will will take what was normally a reference to a specific tile or light, right, to this tile ID, and it'll change it to where it's actually got a tagged reference. And that means that can work across other scenes. Now what's new, and it's a big deal, Wasp actually uh, did something really creative. He, he now has Tagger also work with token attacher. And so let me show you this. So this is a gallows. And if I, if I, uh, you know, click on like, for example, this lever, it will knock over the stool. It'll actually damage the player that's standing under it. And then it'll play that little gallows sound. And then I can just reset it by clicking it again. That's all well and good, but that means I can only, without, without what just came out, I can only have one of these in a particular scene. But now we have this wildcard functionality. Let me show you what I mean. So, you know, this stool gets referenced by this lever and to get referenced by a tag, but look what the tag is now. It's got a little curly bracket hashtag at the end of it. And then I'll even show you the, the lever itself. This also has a hashtag and then the triggers are calling out that same hashtag. Now I've created a prefab out of this. And if I drag that prefab out and I open up these items, you can see it incremented to one and everything else in this prefab incremented by one, including the triggers. So now this is its own unique prefab, but check this out. This is number two and everything in it incremented to number two. So now I can drag out any number of gallows or traps or trap doors. Um, I can have uh, these, these broken windows and the ability to break through walls and all these interactive elements. And I can have any number of them that I want, you know, in my scenes, right? I can have, if I wanted to, I could have every door require a strength check and that door can smash in and all of a sudden it's not locked and my players can get through. And if that weren't awesome enough, Wasp even included this. So if I hold down, I, I've uh, done my key bindings. Let me show you my key bindings for Tagger. I built a, a, a one called a con, a left control, right? So if I hold down the left control key uh, while I'm doing something, uh, alt left conflicted with something else. So I made one for con, uh, my control key. And when I hold that down, so I'm holding it down and I'm going to drag this, uh, this rotating fireplace out. And I'm going to let it go and let me open up one of these levers. Uh, you see, it still kept the hashtags. So this is super useful. If you make a prefab, especially a complicated one like this or any kind of prefab, and you want to make changes later, you can drag it out to any scene, make your changes and then reassociate it to your pro as your prototype token. So, you know, I would just, Make sure I have my control token selected. Um, I've gone to my actor and then I would just say assign token and that will replace whatever was attached to this with whatever I've got in the scene. So really awesome work and uh, in terms of being able to help us GMs, you know, put the effort in once and then have really, really light touch after that. So, you know, the power to be able to take a, you know, maybe a relatively complex interaction you know, like this perception zone that makes all of these uh, discoveries appear around the room. Um, you know, that's, that's not a, a trivial thing to design, but because prefabs are reusable, I can have now discovery zones all throughout a particular map in case I want my players to be able to explore uh, a given area. Uh, here, I've got a bunch of landmines that I laid out and then I walked my player across them and they you know, randomly go off, you know, there's only a certain percentage of a uh, chance that each one will go off as you're walking over it, which is great. Now I can have a really fun, crazy scene with a bunch of landmines going off. So special thanks to Wasp for doing this. It's really impressive. It completely liberates 
prefabs. It lets you have all of these interactable elements, as many as you want on, you know, on a particular scene. So uh, I'm really excited about it. I've already got a bunch of things planned. As you can see, I've already got a bunch of stuff I've already built. And with my latest release, all of these things are available. All the assets that you see here are available on my Patreon. It's seven bucks a month. You get all of this and literally everything else I've ever made all at once. And when you leave, you get to keep it. So um, hopefully you guys enjoy this. Uh, feel free to come and use some of my assets and let me know in the comments if you have any ideas on how you're going to use this in the future.